Oh, welcome back to Ozarks. <laughs> Fox AM, we're mesmerized by Lisa yes, Rafa. Yes, we really are. It's the final day of Severe Weather Awareness Week, and Elisa, you're back from the National Weather Service. Yes, you are. What is our topic for this final day? So we're doing lightning today, um, which is something super cool. You could see we've got some really cool. This is around the Ozarks. Our talented photographers got these images here, and lightning occurs in every single thunderstorm. That makes every single thunderstorm hazardous. So it doesn't have to be severe warned to have lightning because they. All do um, again, which makes every single storm hazardous and potentially deadly. And uh, we actually have 45 people on average a year do get um, killed by lightning, and we had four in Missouri and Arkansas last year. So ser take it seriously, wow. guys. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun in learning about lightning with some trivia. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. Like, yes. I, I'm nervous, but yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, in 2017 alone, how many cloud to ground lightning strikes hit the state of Missouri? Was it just oh, over um, six? Was it just over 600,000, over 800,000, over 900,000, or over a million? I don't know why. I just want to pick the smallest number, but I, maybe it's not. I mean, we have had a lot of lightning. I'm going to go with C. I'm going to go with B. It was B. Oh! Wow. Just Good over 800,000. And that's actually on the low side because the um, average for the last decade is about a million a year, over a million wow. a year. This the last number is actually the average. So we're actually a little bit below average. Okay. okay. Next question How hot is lightning? Smoking hot. <laughs> Smoking, Smoking hot. hot. Yeah. Well, is it uh, 10,000 degrees, 25,000 degrees, 50,000 degrees, or 75,000 degrees? Well, I always want to go with the highest. I want to go with the highest. Too. We're going to go D. It is C, 50,000 oh. degrees, um, which is as hot or hotter than the surface of the sun. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that, that's insane. This wow. is why it's dangerous. You don't want to get hit by that. Yeah. That's crazy. At least it seems like there's more strikes. Is that, is that true now or not? We get lots of thunderstorms, and it does happen. I think it's like 25 million strikes a year to the U.S. Mm -hmm. So it does happen a lot, and we get the most fatalities in Florida because they get the most thunderstorms. Oh, okay. Okay. Which of the following activity accounted for the most lightning deaths from 2006 to 2017? Was it fishing, working outdoors, the beach, or camping? I was going to say fishing because, you know, the you pole. You would think you might be by the water and then, then yeah. the beach thing. But, oh, and she said Florida gets a lot, so oh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, oh, let's, let's split the vote so we have okay, a better chance. Okay, I'll go see. I'm going to go A. It is fishing. Is ah! that? Okay, tell about, uh, is it because you're right there on the water? Yeah, it's um, two-thirds of all lightning that deaths happen when people are just enjoying outdoor leisure, and 80% of it is men. 80% of, of the fatalities are men, and it just happens because men are more often working outside or doing something outside. Or fishing. Or, or fishing, fishing, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, and it happens when you're doing outdoor leisure because oftentimes you're not paying attention to what's going on, okay. you know, right. so... I was. I thought golfing should have been a. a Someone oh, else said oh, yeah, that. Yeah, you're holding a metal rod. <laughs> right. Um, but it's a myth. The golf. It, fishermen get struck more often than than golfers. Wow. Just just because of where they're at. So I often show this in the summer. We have gorgeous lakes here in the Ozarks. So while you're fishing, remember these safety tips. Again, there's no warnings for lightning because it's in every single thunderstorm. A lightning strike can hurt your boat or lose your electronics on your vessel. So bottom of the line, before you go out in the water, check the forecast, check the radar. No what's going on and have an emergency plan for your boat if when you go out. A car is a safe place to be during a thunderstorm because of its rubber tires. Is that true? true? No, I've false. always I've heard always heard that. true. That's I've what I was going to tell. I've always heard true. So do you want to go with that? Let's go true. That's true. our old okay. wife's tale. That's anyway. our old wife's tale. It's a yeah. myth. That's false. Oh! oh no. Alisa, you're making me very afraid no. now of, of no, thunderstorms. No, we're learning. So here's the fun part. Is it's, it is a safe place, but it's not because of the rubber tires. It's because of the metal roof and the doors. So the electricity will, will go into the metal, and it gets conducted around the metal in the car. So if you're in the car and you don't touch the doors, then you're good. Oh. So don't touch the doors because it's running through the metal, but it has nothing Guess how I'm driving from now on. Oh, right. <laughs> like this. Or can, can we have something in the car that's just rubber that we hang on to? <laughs> Would that be helpful? <laughs> it's a, it's not, it doesn't matter doesn't about matter the rubber. About the, that's, that's, okay. rubber that's the myth. That's the myth. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. I've always been told. So, yeah, again, a car is a safe place to be. 
stay away from metal objects. That's why you don't want to touch the doors of the car. Um, Lightning also likes really tall objects, so also a myth to get under a tree. You don't want to do that because the Lightning likes trees because they're tall. And when you're inside, stay away from windows. You don't want to be near windows because I've really never heard that before, fun. Lisa. Get under a tree. I've never heard that. Yeah, don't <laughs> Ever. do that. No, I would no never way. do that. No. Pools are a bad idea, too. You just yeah. want thunder roars. You want to get indoors. Uh, which of the following is safe to use indoors during a thunderstorm? Is it a computer, a TV, a shower, or a cell phone? Uh, you know, I'm glad you asked this because I've always wondered. I've heard. Now, is it safe? Can we take a shower if it's thunderstormy? I don't know about this. I'm gonna, just going to... I'm going to... I don't know. Which one is safe to use? I'm going to go with cell phone. Yes, I'm going to go with D2, but I, yeah. I don't know why. I just guessed. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. good. Because it's not attached to anything? Yes. So because it's cordless, if anybody still has a cord, a phone with a cord in it at home, don't use those. You don't want to touch anything that's electric and can, you know, plug into the wall like a TV or things like that. Remote controls are safe. And, yes, avoid plumbing um, because of the metal pipes and stuff. So oh. no showers and don't, uh, okay. don't, wash, okay. don't wash the dishes. Um, he, this is the last one. Okay, Lightning, last one. This is, is this true or false? Lightning never strikes the same place twice. True or false? We've heard it doesn't. So we're going to say true. Myth. Ah, oh, you're breaking all the rules today. In <laughs> fact, lightning strikes the Empire State Building 23 times a year. Wow. Because it's a tall, pointy object, and, and the lightning is attracted to it. Alisa, unfortunately, we're out of time. <sighs> but can I tell you how much we've enjoyed Severe Weather Awareness Week? We really week? have. I, I thank you for allowing me to. to I think we should just it. keep her doing it at least once a, mm -hmm. once a week, do a segment on weather like this because it's educational. Yeah, I'm and happy. I now that I am a semi meteorologist, yes, you know, forecasting you are. weather. Yes. <laughs> But I'm going to have to tell you, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious now. I yeah. thought, I'm in my car. I'm good. It's no, not going to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Elisa. Thank, no, thank you. All right, coming up a little later, we're chatting with Kevin and Liz from KGBX. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. And it's true about the lightning coming up from the ground. Yes. It, yeah. Yes. Okay. He said that I wanted to get in.